So if you do it this way, it puts a drag brake on that flywheel motor and spins down in 30 or so seconds. So now you just drove it, what'd you think? I like it, it's good. You like it? Yep. <laughs> nice. So one thing I think we got to address guys, right like, now is the fact that we're noticing that this front disc brake is loose. And I don't know if it's loose because it needs to float or if it's literally just loose because of the screws, we'll see. So see if those screws will take a tighten because what's weird is they're all about the same. So maybe that is supposed to be a floating disc. Could be a floating disc. Possibly. Because for all the screws to be fairly even, that's kind of weird. So far, still 39. We're going to switch over to the 100 C pack right now. 39, respectable. Yeah, I think we could have squeezed out, probably could have squeezed out one more mile per hour, but the different FedEx truck loads. was delivering good stuff to the shop. So. Oh, you know, <laughs> maybe you have different speeds on that. Right, we're going to check the modes, right. So the brake rotor itself or the disc is a floating disc. So I did just check that right there. So now we're going to toss in a 100 C pack now that this thing has had a chance to cool down a little bit. You see the GPS meter right there, active. All right, so now we're going to head out. Make sure the GPS is still fired up. It is. Take this bad boy out, get a couple of speed runs with it, and then this guy over here is going to take, take the controls. 100 C speed test incoming with a Spectrum 5,000 milliamp pack, 2S. Just don't let the door shut. All right, so we got a starting procedure with this thing. I'll go over it with you just so you know yourself. So obviously just like any remote control car, radio on first. And this is where that smart technology stuff takes over. You press the power button, turn it on, you let it like set up. So the AVC gyro and whatever, you know, talks and communicates. Once you hear that tone, you see you got four lights. Go ahead and flip on the flywheel turns on the flywheel flywheel spins up in about 30 or so seconds you'll hear the tone increase in tone yep. and once it gets to like a stable sound about 30 seconds then you're ready to go so you can hear that thing spooling up and of course here we are coming out to do a speed test and we got another, another delivery truck here <laughs> oh, maybe he could hook us up with some drinks what does he got there <laughs> So that's about it right there. It's probably about 30 seconds. That's close enough. Let's see, stop, read. So the GPS has basically been tracking max speed. We're already at 201 miles per hour <laughs> for max speed. <laughs> Obviously we had a little bit of an issue. So go ahead and hit start. So you can see, well, you should be able to see we've got some telemetry just from the thing moving. We'll give it a shot. Mode three is the best mode ever. Yeah. You like the wheelies, man. Oh, yeah. That literally limited my wheelie. So this must be in mode one. That cut my wheelie. And that didn't. That dude, he's going to be in trouble, man. He's going to have no clothes. Check, check that clothing. See what happened on that one. So we got the other elbow. Oh, 
What's funny is that it cut the wheelie for me. So I want to get a speed run, but this guy's in the way now. into a 14 wheeler all right well let's check out the damage see if we're good it looks like we bent the training wheel bar see how the training wheel bar bent so bring that back in the shop this here? yep we'll just re-bend that oh it's straight. from straight yep Rebend that. First accident. I suppose I should have taken you along for the repair. It did take a little bit longer than normal because what they used is a spring steel that is actually pretty smart. Yeah. Wow. Okay, take two. I mean, you get a chance I was looking for something, so I can see, see if yeah. I can get mine running. GoPro on. Where you, where you at? I need the uh... So I'm actually not an employee. Oh! <laughs> okay! <laughs> bo 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 both of us aren't employees. <laughs> okay, you all you but, yeah. Okay, yeah, you so the, the guy yeah. that you're gonna want to yeah. talk to is right at the I right at the register. Nice thing, I was watching you. Alright. So let's take you know what? I'm gonna let you drive it. That way I can film okay. and watch yeah. the GPS and do whatever. So right, cool. here you go. I don't know if you want to start the gyro now. Yeah, I'm also not standing up here in 20 minutes. <laughs> it do its thing. I'll actually just leave it alone. So you can't touch it when the gyro right. starts? Okay. So once it does that and does that, you're good to go. Then you can just basically just start the flywheel. And then, so that's, that, then that's that 30 seconds. You can't touch it. Right. So you don't... Well, you can touch it now. But once it, when you first turn it on, just like a regular AVC, you don't want to touch it because it's... It's no. like, yeah, it's gyroing. You know what I mean? It's, it's locating where it is and what its position is. But right now, you could move it if you wanted because you're all set to go. Wow, this chain actually... Is it getting loose? That's where it's supposed to be. It was really tight. Like, I couldn't even pinch it together. Right. Like so it's breaking in. Yeah. So the chain's breaking which in. Which is good, which means it's going to get a little faster. That's, that's perfect. We also didn't put any chain lube on it either. I was trying to find the chain lube. I just, I just saw it. Yeah, I, I have no idea where he put it. He must have put it back in a box. Yeah. But I saw it. Look, it's just regular around. It's like a real lightweight oil. Right. You definitely put it back in the box. I saw it out. You like that, guys? Let me go get it so I can start it right now. All right. You want to put some on there or just? Huh? You want to put some on there or you want to just? No, we'll just run it. All right. Nice, clear path. Good to go. 100C pack. We'll see what this thing gets on a 100C pack. So Ray is going to do a speed run. 50C, two, I mean, uh, 100C, 2S, 5,000 milliamp spectrum G2 pack. We're going to see if we can squeeze out more than 39 miles an hour. Usually it's just the burst, but we'll see what this pack can do. So you can see we got some telemetry. Usually I can do an on-screen thing. I have no idea what happened to the footage. So he's going to get warmed up. Whenever he's ready, he's ready. to West Pass. That's 
It's all the brakes. <laughs> it is definitely rough doing a speed test here because you kind of can't see or know what's going on either direction. Traffic is literally everywhere. All right, two passes, I should double down. Woo! You can block that shed? Yeah. I think you can block that shed, man. All right, here we go. That's his signature move right there. He likes kicking out that back tire. All right, just pull it in so I can get a um, rating off the of GPS. All right. All right, so, stop, read, 43 miles an hour. 100 C pack gave it an extra four miles per hour. That's incredible. Wow. So it's not only just the burst that the battery is providing power, it's, it's just literally, that 100 C pack is just giving it just a little bit more oomph. Yeah. That's so. amazing. And now, my favorite mode is... Wheelie mode, which is mode three. So up twice. Right now you're in mode one. So press up on the trigger. The tones are too soft to hear. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Press down. One, two. One. I go back up. Yep. One, two. One, two, three. Wheelie mode. All right, let me take the uh, GPS off the guy. Strap right here. Now, he'll be unrestricted. So I wonder if there's a point to where the gyro feels the jersey at a speed. Do you know what I mean? Did that let it down or did you let out? Did let it down as well. Okay, wow. So it must get over that what they call what's a breakover angle. Wow, I'm like What I meant by the jersey thing was I was wondering if it would detect like that parachuting effect. Now you're controlling that. Yeah. Are you trying to trying to air steer it? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice, dude. He's trying to do some air steering. Oh, who's got the Firebird? Ha oh, oh, ha oh. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere, guy. You can park that car in the shade. I don't care. Yeah, sorry. We're going to have to go ahead and take a break from your uh, scheduled programming because when it comes to a first gen... Convertible Firebird. I'm all over it. It's either a 67 or a 68. I'll get a nice side shot. I got a 69 Camaro. Yeah, I know, man. The guy was super uncomfortable with me having a camera near his car. It is what it is, man. Still a cool car. My uh, mother used to race at New England Dragway. She had a 68 Firebird with a 400 four-speed. I'll make sure that license plate's not in there. Now, I don't know if you caught 
what uh, Ray said. I think Ray's getting a little bit too overconfident uh, with his driving skills. <laughs> you gotta be careful of somebody else's property, especially when it comes to the classic car. Back to the show. Losi Pro Moto MX, rocking it over here at Hobby Quarters. And right now, we've got a pro driver, but usually on four wheels. Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Honestly, I, I was a little bit of a skeptic. But this thing. Skeptical with most everything, don't you? Uh, well, I don't know about that. The thing is, is that the way this thing runs, the way this thing drives. Hey, Ray, what do you think of that thing? I think I would. Uh, I, I'm, that is definitely going to be a purchase. Definitely, and I think it's very. The, the technology that went into this thing is second to none. I've never driven anything like this before. I've been in the RC since I was eight years old, uh, and that's over 41 years. And this is probably the funnest thing I've ever driven. And I love Nitro Buggy, that's my class, Ape Scale. But this right here, I would take this any day over that right now. That's awesome. Uh, check it out at Hobby Quarters. Check out RC Guy Garage on YouTube. He's gonna be doing it. GoPro died. So anyways, Jeremy was just saying that obviously I was gonna do the unboxing for the shop, and I gotta say, man, this thing is an absolute blast. Now back to some more content. Hey, let's go break it. Yeah. <laughs> She's just an animal. I hope I don't break Come it. Out. See, this is the person right here that I want to see run this thing. Now it's Ashley's turn. She's been very patiently waiting to run this Losi Promoto MX. That's so cool. Oh, oh that's it. Will he tip himself back over? If you gun it right. If you gun it right. You, yeah. Oh, it's in wheelie mode, it's in mode three, which is wheelie mode. Dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right up. Oh, that's kind of fun. First run. First run. run. Experience level. Experience level. Zero. 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 Like, um, Are you serious? Up. Wait a minute. Walk of shame already? Come on. Know, right? Get out of here. I think he's stuck. Oh, wow. You guys already beat up the, uh, the uh, outfit there. What are you right? talking about? It matches your knee. I know, right? Come on. My poor pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh -oh. Oh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'll lock him. With a very active parking lot, it can definitely be hazardous, especially for drivers when drivers can't see either way. The driver of the RC or the driver of this car. Ashley, if you want your turn radius to be really... Oh, oh, oh! oh. oh. There have been questions asked about the flywheel, whether if this is a normal operation sound. Yes, it is. You're not on top of the bike. You're literally driving it away from you, and all of the sounds, yeah, it's there. It doesn't like mulch, yeah. No, the mulch is rough on it. The mulch is catching your little uh, training wheels. Yeah. Because otherwise, I think if he didn't have them, he would just sit there and just right. like... Right, right. <laughs> Trying to make me dizzy here? Yeah.
Are you, are you, is it in mode three? Yep. Yeah. Just pull full trigger. Once you get straight, just pull full trigger. Look at that. It's cool though, isn't it? I saw him. <laughs> He's pretty cool. I like him. What do you think? Think it's oh, cool? Oh, he would, he would. Yeah, it's really cool. That would be fun. You guys are beating it up so far. Did you guys actually catch that? She's not afraid to dish it out, man. You guys are beating it up so far. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs>